One of the absolute most common questions I get from the people I work with is what should I eat during the day? So I thought what I would do is share with you a day of my eating and show you how simple it is because yes, I'm a nutritionist, but I don't love spending time in the kitchen. I need to be quick, simple, easy, little effort. The kitchen is not where I want to spend my time and energy. So everything I do food wise requires minimal energy, minimal effort, minimal ingredients, but everything I try to eat fills my body and supports my body and its needs. So keeping in mind that my activity level is quite high. Um, I'm a marathon runner, so I run fairly heavy volume compared to a lot of people. So I need to be extra cognizant of my nutrients and my carbohydrates and my fats and my proteins. So keep that in mind, but I wanted to give you a little inside scoop into how I eat and what my meals look like. So hope you enjoy. Every morning, I start with my greens, just loaded with antioxidants and goodness. So I take a scoop of this in a cup of water, and this is the first thing I consume on an empty stomach. So this morning I already worked out. I just did a easy cycle, but because it's getting on, it's like almost eight o'clock. Instead of the smoothie that I always start my day with, I'm going to have an actual meal because I'm hungry and it's late for me. I always have my first meal, 7.30, 8 o'clock, and almost always it's a smoothie, unless it's a day like today where I've already fasted and worked out. Um, and I'm hungry and I need to fuel my body right after my workout. So I'll show you what I'm doing today. I'm gonna have two eggs. This is usually my second meal, but I'm making it my first. I'm gonna have two eggs. I made pancakes. I made a big batch of pancakes this week. The ingredients are banana, egg, and oats, and pumpkin pie spice I put in here as well. And that's it, I'm gonna top this with jam. But I made a big batch this week, and then every day I just take two, and I either put it in the oven or the toaster, that's my carbohydrate. My eggs are gonna be my protein. And then I'm gonna throw in some nutrients by heating up some spinach and tomatoes. I like to cook them in avocado oil so I get my healthy fats in and I'm getting my protein and I'm getting my nutrients and I'm getting my carbohydrates um, so that's everything fats carbohydrates um, protein I'm gonna um, eat that and fuel up my body and get ready for the day Here's my breakfast, it's nothing pretty. It's a great, well-balanced meal to help fuel my body after a workout. So I'm gonna go enjoy it. All right, it's about three-ish hours later and it is time for my next meal. So now I'm gonna have my smoothie. I'm throwing some oat milk in, which is my favorite non-dairy milk. I'm going to add my favorite protein in, which is vega, um, vanilla, 
a scoop of collagen. I'm super cognizant of my bone health these days after dealing with my running injury. So that's going in. I'm throwing a nice ripe banana. The best for smoothies. You can also use frozen banana, but I have some. So I'm gonna throw in some berries, high in antioxidants. I know I put my body through a lot of stress, so I need to add berries and lots of antioxidants. So those are going in there today. For my fat, I always add avocado, but I'm out. So today what I'm going to do is add in some high fat yogurt. This is 10%, which is very high. Um, that's the way I like it. I don't believe in low fat anything. We need, especially us as women, we need healthy fats in our diet for hormonal regulation and uh, vitamin and nutrient absorption. So there's my fats. Um, and I think that's it. So I am going to turn this on and enjoy it. Okay, this should be good. I'm only, I only run it for like a minute. I'm just gonna pour my smoothie into a shaker cup and it's ready for the road. So I'm headed off to my chiropractor's now and see what he says. So cheers. Okay, it's time for lunch and I am doing leftovers. I like to batch cook. I cook a whole bunch of stuff and then I have it all week long. So that makes it super simple when it comes to meal time. So at the beginning of the week, I just made this massive stir fry full of all the vegetables I have. So I'm just gonna throw that into um, an oven safe dish. And then I'm adding chicken. So I was lazy this week. Actually, it's just been a week. It's been a week. Um, so I just bought like one of these prepared chickens, um, hormone free. I'm gonna carve a little bit of that out like a cave woman with my fingers. And I'm going to throw that in there and heat that up. And then for my carbohydrate, I, my friend who um, meal preps, shared some of his sweet potatoes with me. So I'm just gonna take some of those sweet potatoes and throw them in the container. So he gave me a big thing and throw that in the container as well. And I'm just gonna heat all this up and it'll be ready in like a few minutes. So that's it. Yeah, then. I don't own a microwave, so I use my oven for heating up everything and that will be my lunch for today. Nutritious, delicious, quick, easy, nutrient dense, full of goodness. Okay, it's time for my afternoon snack. Sometimes I eat a lot for my afternoon snack. It kind of just depends on my activity level, but today I didn't do a whole lot. So what I'm going to have is smaller than maybe normal. Um, an apple, I eat an apple a day. I find them a great portable snack. I'm going to throw in some pecans. I always have mixed raw nuts. This is all I have left. <laughs> So that's what I have. And then the beginning of the week, I also prepped my raw veggies. So I have two containers here full of carrots and peppers. So I'm just gonna take some of those um, and eat with hummus. And that'll be my quick, easy snack. Um, so hold me out until dinner time. Okay, time for dinner now, and like much of my day, I have it pretty much prepared and ready to go. So this week what I did was I cooked all my acorn squash. I get this produce box every week, and I have a ton of produce in it. So I cooked this acorn squash, a whole bunch of them, and filled it with like this beef um, filling, beef and rice and a little bit of cheese on top and I cooked a whole bunch of them and now I'm just eating like half of one a day and it's great, it's already ready. 
And then with that, I'm also going to have um, a side salad that's just mixed greens, um, chickpeas and tomatoes. And I'm just gonna throw a, some kind of dressing on top. So that will be dinner. Like takes me like five minutes to warm up. It's already ready. Um, the perks of meal prep at the beginning of the week is that you can just grab it and go um, during the week. So that's going to be dinner. Easy peasy. So I hope you found that helpful in seeing how and what I eat all day. I will say that you'll always see this around. This is my one liter of water and I try to drink three of those a day. In the summertime, it's more like four, but we're in the winter here. And also I have a juice ready to be made. Um, whatever produce is kind of looking a little bit funky, I like to just throw in the juicer and have a juice. Um, really good at alkalizing the body. And again, I put my body through a lot, so I make sure I have a juice. Other than that, drink wise, I drink during the winter, a lot of herbal tea. So I've got a, an assortment of herbal tea up there. Um, I'll usually have like two or three a day. Depends on when I'm feeling cold is when I will make one. And after dinner, I try not to eat. Um, if I'm hungry after dinner, I'll have like maybe crackers and peanut butter I seem to be going to often lately. Um, but one of the things I love doing is drinking a glass of chocolate milk after dinner. Um, chocolate oat milk because I find that really satisfies me with the, the fats in it and the chocolate taste. So otherwise, that's it for my day. Um, I hope you found that helpful. Okay, I'll see you next week.